This video is brought to you by cdkeyoffice.com, the best place for buying games, gift cards and software keys on a discount. Simply make an account, use the code FOXY for 20% off and enjoy your purchase. Follow the link in the description for more info. Hello everybody, my name is Foxy. Welcome back to a new video. I'm sorry if my voice is a little weird because I am sick. So I'm not going to be talking too much in this video, but I'm going to be showing you guys in this video how to stream with a super slow internet speed. Now I've made quite a few videos like this and it's only right that I make an updated tutorial about this. For 2021, a lot of people still have a slow upload speed in 2021. Take a look at my upload speed. It's below 1 megabits per second, which is absolutely ridiculous. But what if I told you you can actually stream with this? I'm not going to be showing you how to actually set up OBS because you should you should already know how to do that. I'm just going to be showing you the settings and I'm going to be showing you the main setting, which is the bitrate. So if you go ahead and open OBS, go to the settings, then I would suggest going to stream and then if you're going to stream to Twitch, then select the closest server to you. If you don't have that option, then do not change it. Then go to output, make sure you are in the output mode that says advanced, go to streaming, make sure the encoder says the NVIDIA NVEC um, setting if you have it. If, if it. if you don't have it, then stick with this one. I have it, so I'm going to make use of it. Check this option right here. Do not check this option right here. Make sure the rate control says VBR, which is variable bitrate. So you can basically select two bitrates, basically a minimum and a maximum. And you can allow OBS to choose based on your internet speed at the current time. So how do you choose the bitrate? Go to speedtest.net. Do not mind the ping and do not mind uh, the download speed. You only need the upload speed because if you're going to be streaming, you're only going to need the upload speed. As you can see, my upload speed right now, it's 0.84 okay so you're gonna have to take any value that you find here as long as it's below six megabits per second you're gonna take it type it in your calculator and multiply that by 1000 and as you can see it's gonna give you a value for me it's gonna be 840 so i'm gonna be taking that and putting that as a maximum for the max bitrate over here take this value right here and then go minus 300 and as you can see, it's going to give me 540. I'm going to be typing that in right over here. Let me delete everything. It's going to, get, it's going to be 540 bitrate. Keep copying, copying my rest of the settings, then press apply, and then go ahead and go to video, which is the most important bit right now. So as you could see, my max bitrate was 840. So I'm going to have to choose a resolution that matches my bitrate. And as you could see, if you Google bitrate for, for each resolution, it's going to give you basically a um, estimated bitrate for each resolution. My bitrate falls into the, into the range of 800 and 1200. So we're going to be choosing res this resolution right here. We're going to copy it. I'm going to go back to OBS, go to video, resolution and paste it there. Do not change the base camp resolution, keep it at your monitor's native resolution. Then go to the FPS, make sure it says 30. And for the downscale filter, make sure it says Langzos. Press apply. And just like that, you are done. Press OK and you can start streaming. This will wrap it up for today's video about how to stream with a super slow internet connection using OBI Studio. Tune in for my next video, it's going to be about how to do the same thing basically, but using Streamlabs OBS. Bye bye.